Hi everyone, this is Dr. Santos. Today I am going to talk about cyanide poisoning, the treatment of cyanide poisoning and mechanism of cyanide poisoning and along with that I will be talking about little bit about the overview of how cyanide poisoning happens. Okay, And this is a very famous poisoning, you, everybody must be knowing about this poisoning, at least must have heard about this poisoning somewhere in his life. Actually cyanide, everybody knows that it is a very very toxic compound. Okay, So we will talk about this. this poison how it poisons and how we treat this poison so let's first start with the treatment so what we require to treat okay this is in cyano kit okay you get this are the come these are the molecule you get in cyano kit so these are nitrite okay nitrite compound and then you get a thio sulfate compound and this is hydroxy cobalamin so uh, my simple mnemonics to remember this treatment okay the compound that is utilized for treatment is treat cyanide treat cyanide poisoning so treat cyanide poisoning so you can see t4 what are the molecule that is required t4 thiosulfate thiosulfate and then c4 cobalamin cobalamin and then what is n and for nitrite just remember this three molecule thiosulfate cobalamin and nitrite these are the three molecules that is utilized for treatment of this now we will talk in detail about this molecule but before we talk about in detail about this let's talk what how cyanide cause cause poisoning so the main core concept about cyanide poisoning you need to remember this core concept what is that core concept so core concept is you need to remember that cyanide will bind ferric iron okay ferric iron part of heme so cyanide will always bind ferric iron it does not bind ferrous iron so it's it is the ferric iron with cyanide this is a very important concept we will be utilizing throughout this lecture so let's see how cyanide cause poison so cyanide will cause toxicity to complex 4 so here this is electron transport chain you can see here whole thing about electron transport chain now what happens you know electron transport chain it will uh, this electron transport chain transport the transport the electron from NADH through to the oxygen so this electron is transferred through the electron transport chain and as a result of electron transport this energy that is liberated because of this electron transport through the through this complexes of electron transport chain this is electron transport chain complex the hydrogen they will form hydrogen so each complexes will form hydrogen so complex one will form four complex three will form four and complex four will form two hydrogen means protons from matrix to intermembranous space of mitochondria now when you when it pumps so this hydrogen you know this hydrogens because it this process is going constantly and this the same simultaneously this process will create proton gradient proton gradient between this intermembrane space and then matrix of mitochondria and because of this proton gradient this proton will flow through the atp synthase and then atp synthesis happens and now where do we get this nadph we get nadph from the oxidation of glucose this oxidation from pca cycle and Krebs cycle we get get this NADH and NADH and from this NADH electron will flow will create pump this proton proton gradient and through proton gradient we get ATP so this is the whole process so what does this cyanide do cyanide here comes and cyanide will cause toxicity it will come and block this flow it will block this flow so it will cut down this flow when the flow is cut down what you can imagine there is no creation of proton gradient okay slowly proton gradient will be lost when proton gradient is lost there is no atp synthesis and then this nadh will pile up okay and there will be deficiency of this ultimately depletion of nad and then the whole process of this glucose conversion of glucose to carbon dioxide will also go up, will switch off so whole process will shut down because of cyanide poisoning that is that means no energy production whatever food is there it is not being converted to energy so when you don't have energy so you will not survive your body the patient's body does not survive because of cyanide poisoning now this cyanide poison how to treat this cyanide poisoning now 
we use some cyanokit, some chemical to treat this cyanide poisoning. Let's see how we treat this cyanide poisoning. Actually, we induce this uh, something called conversion of this hemoglobin that is in you know the hemoglobin has iron and this heme is there at the core of hemoglobin and it has iron in ferrous condition we induce this ferric conversion of this iron so we call we induce met met hemoglobinemia okay actually induction of met hemoglobinemia is toxic met hemoglobin cannot bind with the oxygen but to treat to treat this condition cyanide poisoning we convert this ferrous form of normal hemoglobin to met hemoglobin so that this ferric will bind cyanide whatever cyanide there in the blood or cyanide that is blocking this action of this electron transport chain it will this this ferric will take this cyanide from there and it will bind this now this ferric compound whole compound will convert into cyanomet hemoglobin and this cyanomet hemoglobin is now react with thiosulfate so this thiosulfate will take this cyanide that is there now it will release this ferric form of met hemoglobin into this free form without cyanide now this met hemoglobin now can again be converted into normal hemoglobin by our enzyme we have enzyme system we call met hemoglobin reductase so this will convert back this hemoglobin to normal hemoglobin. so this is how we treat cyanide now this thiocyanate that is produced because of this thiosulfate will is it is soluble and it is again going to the urine and this is how we treat the cyanide generally the main point of treatment of this cyanide poisoning is induction of met hemoglobin amia this met hemoglobin this met hemoglobin will you know it becomes a scavenger molecule a scavenger molecule for this cyanide and then when it eats up it will take this cyanide with this and then we dissolve this cyanide that is with it with the thiosulfate and make that cyanide in thiosulfate and thiocyanide and that thiocyanide is basically non toxic soluble compound so this is how we treat the cyanide poisoning now you can see the first what happens first reaction in second is first reaction the reaction with nitrite okay i told you the mnemonics treat cyanide poisoning t c n so here the first thing that comes is nitrite okay and then you can see the second thing here comes is thiosulfate okay thiosulfate and cobalamin is there we will talk about cobalamin so nitrite then thiosulfate so this sequence is very important to understand for treatment let's see this cyanide poisoning now let's see this the antidote so when patient let's say the patient immediately comes to you with cyanide poisoning actually the patient has very very less time you have to um, treat that patient very very quickly so what we you do immediately as immediately patient comes you take out the cyano kit and then you just give them amyl nitrate amyl nitrate is inhaled and inhalation of amyl nitrate is done quickly so when this amyl nitrate is inhaled so you know what nitrite does nitrite induce met hemoglobin amia and as soon as you give this the, the same time you just inject this hydroxycobalamin so what does hydroxycobalamin do this is vitamin b12 product so it whatever cyanide is there it will take up all the free cyanide in the blood this is the job of this hydroxycobal that's the job okay quickly when the patient is freshly exposed to cyanide then you will do that now next step why you do is this amyl nitrate inhalation because until patient you open iv drug uh, intravenous route so until then you give this inhalation when once you open this you give sodium nitrite okay through the infusion the iv infusion okay you can see the doses okay you can read this doses so you can do this give this iv fuse infusion and then by the time you induce more met hemoglobin in. so first you induce met hemoglobin in. you can see this for 3 to 5 minutes you give this for 3 to 5 minutes one met hemoglobinemia is induced now you have you are giving this thiosulfate for over a 30 minutes so what will happen this whatever this met hemoglobin is produced they will go and bind all the cyanide and then there will be this thiosulfate will be available there to 
detoxify all of them him take this all cyanide from them him now the cyanide will be taken away from him and this him will become met hemoglobin and met hemoglobin as i told you here the met hemoglobin can be converted back to the normal hemoglobin by hemoglobin reductase so this is the treatment of cyanide poisoning so cyanide poisoning we require mainly three compound here both compound are the same thing the different formulation so remember the mnemonics treat cyanide t treat cyanide poisoning t for thiosulfate c for cobalamin and for nitrite so these are the compound that is used for cyanide poisoning and let's at last let's talk what is this uh, what causes this cyanide poisoning cyanide poisoning you know it it is present in three forms cyanide toxicity or toxicity can happens in con with contact with the skin it can happen with the inhalation inhalation so inhalation happens because of hydrogen cyanide which is a gas now and then it can mm, happen because of consumption through oral route okay consumption through oral route so these are the sources of cyanide poisoning let the medically for medicine let, let's talk few important things about cyanide poisoning so um, before that you know the cyanide poisoning it has a very much historical significance because people used to use this cyanide to kill to cause death of people for homicidal activity people used to use this cyanide poisons to kill people now this cyanide poisoning those are homicidal cyanide poisoning it has long history historical values you if you search cyanide poisoning many people in the history you can find has been killed because of cyanide poisoning now cyanide what how it made how is it medically important cyanide actually is part of a drug that is used for ischemic heart disease that is called this is nitroprusside drug so nitroprusside drug you can see there is one nitro group here in iron and this five cyanide group so when this drug is given to the to the people so what happens is when this nitrite is very useful nitrate is very useful to for vasodilatation and treatment of actually management for of this ischemic heart disease but cyanide when it release it it can cause toxicity okay so what is done is to neutralize this cyanide so generally in drug there is a thiosulfate already present in that formulation so this thiosulfate will as soon as this cyanide comes this silyl thiosulfate will react to this with this cyanide and what is formed thiocyanide is formed thiocyanide is formed and this thiocyanide you know it is non toxic so this is one medical significance of cyanide and then you on house fire especially in, in developed country in usa house fire actually the if you see in house the furniture is coated with this polyurethane you, if you can closely see this compound you can find here this cyanide is present here in this compounds when you this this material polyurethane the paint is burned because of house fire this cyanide will be released as hydrogen cyanide and the patient the the person that is there in the that is trapped in the house fire will get poisoned because of this hydrogen cyanide so you can get hydrogen cyanide poisoning the cyanide poisoning in house fire also okay because of furniture and then there is gold mining in gold mining in metal extract extraction there is a heavy amount of use of sodium cyanide so this sodium cyanide when it is used it is sprinkled on the gold area mine so that so as to extract the gold so the people may get gold cyanide poisoning in gold extraction so this is these are the things you can see this these are the sources of cyanide where these are the sources of cyanide which will cause cyanide toxicity so and then you already know the treatment so at last note on last note let's just remember that cyanide the treatment of cyanide poisoning include three compound and you can remember this compound name by the mnemonic treat cyanide that's cn so t for thiosulfate c for cobalamin and this n for so so this is all for today's lecture thank you